Today's morning coffee vinyl side, Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water, 1970. Recorded mostly in November of 1969 and released in early 1970, this album, the duo's last together, was in development for over a year before the bulk of the recording was undertaken. Garfunkel had taken a role in Mike Nichols' film adaptation of Joseph Heller's Catch-22, which made him unavailable and largely absent from the creative process of writing and arranging the songs during pre-production, and the responsibility fell on Simon, the duo's principal songwriter, to come up with the goods. Creative partnerships are tricky, and this one was always particularly volatile and fraught with tension. Yet Simon was less than productive during Garfunkel's absence, but the pains of separation gave him a taste of what life without Garfunkel would be, and that taste was enough to ensure this album would be their last together. The title track is the obvious favorite here. It shares a similar structure and build-up as the Beatles' Let It Be, and is perhaps Garfunkel's greatest vocal achievement. As good as it is, I prefer some of the deeper cuts. The Gilberto-influenced So Long Frank Lloyd Wright and the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young-influenced Keep the Customer Satisfied really grab my ear. And Cecilia, more popular today than ever, is very suggestive of Simon's later work in style and pace. And how cool is Baby Driver? If the Beatles and the Beach Boys had a baby, it would be Baby Driver. Today is Monday and I greet it with a feeling of trepidation. Call it an existential malaise with a slight pinch of dread. And as this album wraps up, I also feel a bit of sadness in the post-listen refractory period. This copy is warped from having been stored incorrectly and is pretty much unsalvageable as a vinyl, so this will be the last time I play it. It's also pretty beat up too, which metaphorically is how I feel as well. And as I'm now trapped and tied to this album through the constructs of metaphor, I'll have to defer on the decision to toss it because, well, you know, metaphor.